In this video you will learn how to use Cerebro by Helium 10. It's probably one of the most popular tools by Amazon sellers who are using Helium 10 software. I invited uh, Bradley Sutton to show us some use case on a real product. How could we apply functionality of Cerebro? And if you would like to sign up and uh, get a discount to Helium 10, check the link below. Also coupon codes are in the description of this video. And before you watch the demo, don't forget to subscribe below to the YouTube channel of Orange Click, click the notification bell because here we talk with different Amazon experts and software creators. Also click the like button as well. Hello Bradley, it's nice to have you here again on the YouTube channel of Orange Click. Could you please introduce yourself and tell us what is uh, Helium 10? Yes, I'm the director of training and chief evangelist here at Helium 10. My name is Bradley Sutton. I've been working here for three years and Helium 10 is an all-in-one suite of tools for Amazon sellers from A to Z, whatever you need uh, to run your business on Amazon. And as far as I know, the most popular tool probably among Amazon sellers is Cerebro by Helium 10. And uh, I remember I heard that Bradley, this is also your most favorite tool as well, right? So this is what we'll be talking now in this video. And I asked Bradley to present and to show us some use cases, how Cerebro could be used by Amazon sellers. So we are ready to jump to your screen and see. Okay, so I'll share my screen. Why don't you give me a product that I can search for? Um, let's try uh, Orange Clock. Orange Clock. Wow, look at all these. <laughs> Interesting, okay. And then is our product, our pretend product, going to be the digital or this kind? The This kind, yeah, with the, with the arrows, with the... Okay, no. all right, so... This is how uh, we would say, like we, me and Augustus, we we just did a a joint venture and we started a not Orange Click but Orange Clock company, and now uh, we have it on order from China, and now it's time to to like make the listing. So, the majority of our sales and the majority of sales on Amazon, probably like you know eighty percent, come from most likely less than fifteen keywords. Like usually there's like five to 15 keywords that are just super, super strong for any product. So what I would be doing would be, I want to see, I want to see where these products are getting sales from. So first of all, let's just see what kind of search volume, um, I'm sorry, what kind of sales some of these, some of these orange clocks are making. Like here is one that's whew, doing uh, thousands of units. That's, that's the digital kind. Uh, we're going to do the, uh, other kinds. So like this one is doing almost 10 units a day, making about $5,000. We see <laughs> here's one that's kind of funny. It has like uh, utensils that are going uh, out of it. Um, we've got uh, one here is brand new looks like. Yeah, brand new. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick first my baseline product. And this is something new that if you've watched any videos of Cerebro on this channel, it's a different way that we can do it. But I can actually from here, start my Cerebro search. So I'm first going to pick what is my baseline product, like something that is similar to mine, but not one of the top sellers. So I, I just kind of like scrolled all the way down here to the bottom to just see one of these. Uh, okay, ours is similar, maybe, you know, this is a brand new, I know this is not gonna be the top product. So I'm gonna click there. And now I'm gonna sort this by revenue. And I just wanna pick like five or six of the top selling orange clocks that are similar to what I have. So this is an orange you know, one, but this is a sponsored ad. So it just showed up here. So I'm not gonna pick this one. It's really important. He's on my page of orange clock, but he's not my competitor. Um, that's really important. A lot of Amazon sellers need to understand whenever you're analyzing keywords of your competitors, don't just pick the best selling one that happens to be on your page because that doesn't mean that they're your competitor. They're just advertising there. This. This is not my competitor. If we are doing the, you know, this kind of clock, that's usually what somebody's looking for. You know, the person who is looking for a digital clock, they would never buy our Roman numeral or or numbers clock. All right, so I'm not going to pick that one. Same thing here. Nope, nope. All of these uh, ones. This one, uh, it's not exactly orange, so it's kind of gold. So again, even though they're selling a lot, 
I don't care what is their, um, you know, what keywords are driving their sales. So here's one, you know, this maybe is similar to our product. So I'll, I'm going to say we want to find out this one. Here's another one, kind of orange with numbers. Let's go ahead and analyze that. Uh, there's some green ones. Here's another one for sure. This one is similar to what we have in mind. They're selling about six thousand dollars. This one, no. This one, yes. So we got one, two, three so far. Let's keep going here. Maybe just pick one or two more. I want, we want one with like the orange face. So, ooh, this one, th th this one. If I didn't have that many, um listings to analyze, I might pick this one, but since this is kind of 3D, I wanna just wait until I can find some more products that are more similar. So I just need to find maybe one more here that, here we go. Here's another uh, good one. Do I want, is there any more? Um, yeah, we can do this one too. All right, so now I've picked some of the top sellers. Actually, this one I'm gonna take off because they're not selling enough. They're only selling $600. So I really don't care what, what they're doing. And I'm gonna hit run in Cerebro. And that's going to open up right here into Cerebro. So here is my baseline product that I had put in. If I already had my own listing, that's what I would have picked as the baseline. But in our pretend scenario, we just started Orange Clock LLC and we don't have our first product yet. Uh, so I have to use a different baseline product. So I'm checking one, two, three, four, five listings here. And this is gonna show me all of the keywords that any one of these that I had uh, specified here any one of these products are showing up for on page one. And now one thing that I didn't check is the number of variations. I think that is something that people should do. So this here is the number uh, number of sellers and I want to be able to see the number of variations. So I'm gonna just click on some of these listings. All right, so like this one here, this is as I expected, all right? I just wanted to see one of them. Whenever you are doing sales uh, estimations. It doesn't matter if you're using Helium 10 or another tool. Whatever number you see, this one was what, um, $1,000 a month. It's not saying that this orange one is 1,000. It's saying that this listing overall, all added together is selling about $1,000 a month. So when, when I search for this on Cerebro, it's showing me what any of those child variations might be ranking for too. So in that, now that I know that some of these listings have other colors, I'm gonna change this search to exact ASIN match. Because in this situation, I don't really care. Um, I don't really care uh, what keywords this green one is ranking for. I don't care what one the blue one is. When would you care for that? Maybe if you were analyzing a listing with variations that had to do with size, you know, like I, I don't care uh, what size it is. All of those keywords are relevant to me. In this case, I don't want to see a lot of the keywords that say blue clock or green clock or blue green, whatever this is. I just want to see the ones that are specifically performing for the orange variation. And so um, where, where did I go? Here it is right here. So that's why I selected exact ASIN match right here. All right. So now we came up with uh, 3,000 total keywords. Now, I had said that I want to find the top selling keyword. So Augustus, how, how does something, how does somebody get sales on Amazon? You know, like most of them are, are a result of what? What buyer activity? Uh, well, clicking on the advertising or searching in the, in the search box. Exactly, exactly. So I mean, whether we're talking about uh, sponsored ad clicks, like Augustus said, or just regular uh, searches, it still originates usually directly from a search. You've got to be able to search a keyword and then you're going to see results that are sponsored. You're going to see results that are organic. Um, you know, of course, we're not talking about if somebody sends a link from, you know, a Facebook or they have a social media campaign. Of course, sales come from there, but the majority of sales come from keyword searches. So the way that we can find which are the most relevant keywords to this niche is I'm going to say, hey, um, I want to see the keywords that are searched for maybe, I don't know, uh, 400 times a month. And maybe at least instead of just, instead of all, uh, just one of these, you know, this is showing me the keywords that just one of them might be ranking for. 
I want to see the keywords where maybe at least three out of five, they're all ranking for it. All right. So I'm going to put minimum three right here, at least three out of five. So then it gives me more confidence that this is a keyword that is relevant across this niche of orange clocks. All right. Um, so I did search volume and now I'm going to do uh, competitor rank average. What does that mean? That means if I were to take of the ones who are ranking in the top 306, if I were to take their page position, the last time Helium 10 checked, well, what is their average page position? Are they all on page one? Let me, I'm going to go between one and let's just say 50. And let's see if any keywords come up here. If not, I might have to expand out this uh, search. All right, we've got two. So as we probably could have predicted, orange clock and kitchen clock orange are, are two of the, the major keywords that not just one, not just two, but as we can see from here, let's just see all of them. Look at that. All five of them are all ranking for it. And not only that, they're pretty much all on page one. If I put my mouse here, I can see that one is one, one is three, five, nine, and 28. So obviously this is an important keyword. Now, we know that some of these individual listings are getting sales from other keywords. So what we can do, and this is, you know, this probably you guys haven't seen before. If we've done an older video on Cerebro, this, this wasn't available, is instead of looking at the ones where they're all getting sales from, I'm just wondering what, what are some of the keywords where maybe just only one or two products are in the top of page one. So I'm going to go to this advanced rank filter and I'm going to say, hey, show me ones where maybe one and maybe max two of these five are not only on page one, but like the top half of page one, like in the first 15 listings. All right. We've never had this uh, before uh, last year, this feature. And let's see how many keywords came up. 12. So a lot more came up. So here we have, we have a lot of keywords, orange and turquoise decor. All right. So that's a very generic keyword that maybe I wouldn't have thought about. I'm just thinking like if somebody's searching for orange clock, they're just going to type in orange clock. Why did this keyword come up? Well, we can see right here, one of the products is ranked position four. And this is kind of interesting to me because None of the other competitors are even ranked. That's why there's only one here. So this actually is a very valuable keyword because these are the top five potentially orange clock sellers or products on Amazon. And only one out of them is even ranking for this keyword. What does that mean? If I'm going to come in with an orange clock product and I am concentrating on this keyword, orange and turquoise decor, I only have one person to worry about. This is the only competition of my major sellers uh, or the major products that I'm competing with for this keyword. So that's actually kind of uh, advantageous to know that uh, I'm going to have a little bit less competition here. Uh, dial number, wall watch clock, hallway clock, uh, wall clocks. You know, a lot of these are generic. They don't even have orange in it. But the fact that they're showing up here means that some orange clocks are attractive to people who are searching from, for what is this? Have you ever heard this word? I guess it's mechanic alarm clock. Well, mechanic, you probably know what is that, right? But it's like one word. Is that a, really a word? Or is this like maybe a misspelling? <laughs> mechanical, mechanical alarm. Like, yeah, true. is that like a new word? <laughs> Let's take a look here. Ah, okay. It is a misspelling. I was about to say, I was like, how have I never heard this word? So look what happened. Look what Amazon did. Amazon auto-corrected it to mechanical alarm clock. Interesting. Now, here's another keyword that I would not have picked for my product because most of these, as you can see, are just these mechanical ones. But somewhere on here is the orange clock on one of these top uh, pages right here. So I would be the, oh, look at this. I would be the only, one of the only orange clocks on here and there's a history of another uh, orange clock performing well for this keyword. So there's another keyword I probably, I, not probably, I for sure never would have put in my listing because I didn't even know that this was a thing here. Uh, we've got orange wall decor. There's another keyword. Actually, look at that. Wow. That is searched for 3,000 times a month. Here's another one. Orange kitchen decor and accessories. Uh, so this is just a great way. Uh, to find your top keywords. And then I would just expand out these filters. Like I said here, there's there's 3,000 keywords. I'm not going to put all of these in my listings. 
I want to make sure I identify like my top 10 keywords, which this might, you know, show me most of those. And then from there, what I want to do is I want to go and uh, get the rest of the keywords for my listing. So that that's pretty much in a, in a nutshell, like the best kind of way that people right now are, are using Cerebro. Yeah, that's amazing. And it works with different languages as well, right? Yeah. So like, you know, if, if you're in America or uh, Amazon America or Amazon USA, you're going to sometimes see Spanish keywords that come up here. For the very first time, a few weeks ago, I had my first Korean word, like in Korean language actually came up here in Helium 10. It was for a, a garden rake or something like that. I didn't even realize there must be a lot of Korean people uh, in America who, who want to maintain their garden. And so they're actually searching in Hangul, you know, the Korean language, Korean alphabet for it. Uh, you go to uh, Spain, you've got people who are searching in German. You've got people who search in English, uh, Italy, vice versa. So yeah, those words will come up here. And those are great keywords that you put in the back end of your listing. And then, and then other, most Amazon sellers like might overlook that because they never see it. They never look at the listing unless they're using a tool. They don't even know that products are ranking for these other language keywords. So it's really important that, that you get some of these, uh, uh, languages in the back end of your listing. Amazing. Thank you very much, Bradley. Those who are watching, you will find the links below to try or to sign up for Helium 10. You also find some coupon codes, which will give you some discounts. And all right. So thank you very much, Bradley, and good luck in your business. Bye bye. Thank you. I do hope this Cerebro tutorial was useful for you. And now you know how to use it if you didn't know before. Again, you will find the links below to Helium 10 and to the coupon codes, coupon codes which would save you some money. And uh, now I would like to, uh, to invite you to watch the playlist of uh, Helium 10's videos on our YouTube channel, where you can learn more uh, tools from Helium 10 and how to use them.